Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeremy here, and in this episode of Everything iDevice, well, this is going to be a cool episode. I'm going to do What is on my iPhone? Episode 1, The Tweaks. Now, I'm doing this video upon request. I've had, I believe, about 20, maybe 25 people ask me to do What are my favorite tweaks? Or What tweaks do I use on a daily basis video? Now, I'll just tell you that I can't really have all the tweaks I love usable on a daily basis just because I try to cover you know every tweak that's released in Cydia for you guys so my iPhone is constantly changing but I've gotten rid of everything that I don't use or everything that I've done videos on that I don't like and everything that I have on my device now is the way I would have it if I didn't make you guys videos so this the way I have it set up is something I would love to just have for like you know a month straight but you know I do what I do and I don't mind it so here are the tweaks and this is how I would have my iPhone set up if I didn't make you guys videos so let's start out on the lock screen first tweak is forecast allows you to alter your top bar clock bar on your lock screen you still have your clock and your dates but you also get a current weather icon uh, current temperature highs and lows temperature, location, refresh button, and then also a six day forecast, hence the name forecast. Now this next tweak is actually something that does stay on my device pretty much all the time. It's called auto protect and it allows you to when you're connected to your Wi-Fi or your house you can bypass your lock screen passcode. So notice just unlock like normal and if I shut my Wi-Fi off so as if I just left my house, go to slide to unlock and I have to input my passcode. Really like this tweak. Next tweak would be home spring page. Allows you to have a basically an empty springboard page. The first page on your device, you don't have to put any apps on it, it's not gonna reset on you. And I obviously have a widget on it, but uh, that's what it allows you to do. Now, next is NC Settings, which is a notification center widget. It's basically like SP Settings. It gives you a bunch of system toggles like Wi Fi, Respring, Power Down, Brightness, Volume, Bluetooth, Airplane Mode, all that stuff. Now, courtesy of Dashboard X, I'm allowed to put it on my springboard. So, those are the three tweaks right there Home Spring Page, NC Settings, Dashboard X next tweak would be spring to my 2 which allowed me to get rid of a bunch of my status bar elements as you can see I don't have a carrier name I don't have the actual battery itself I don't have the, the clock up there it's just my signal strength uh, my network and the battery percentage only like keeping it simple guys like it now you're probably wondering well what's the point of getting rid of your clock you can't tell what time it is well that's where Clockify comes into play. This tweak is called Clockify. allows you to add a clock to your notification center. This tweak also puts current time on your clock icon. So it actually has the seconds hand rolling around there and it's the current time. And there's a bunch of different kind of styles you can choose from. It also gives you the ability to change the lock screen clock. I, I have that disabled because I like forecast more. Now if you didn't notice another tweak, which is the old school tweak, a jailbreaking showcase tweak, Barrel. I'm not even going to explain Barrel. If you don't know what it is by now, I don't know where you've been. Awesome tweak. Always on my device. Barrel. So next tweak would be, uh, let's just go with uh, Browser Chooser. So. I love using Google Chrome. I have Google Chrome on my Mac. I have it on my my PC, and uh, now with the release of Google Chrome on my on iOS, I have it on my iPhone and on my iPad. But uh, obviously, it's still with clickable links and stuff like that. It wouldn't act as a default um, web browser, but thanks to Browser Chooser, it will. Uh, I basically have Safari hidden. I don't I don't like Safari too much. It's just user preference. Now, Browser Chooser just lets you use whatever browser you want as your default browser. So 
that's another tweak. Also, Sparrow, I have my iOS mail app hidden with Spring to Mice 2, so it's not on my springboard. Sparrow is so much better, and with the two tweaks, Sparrow Plus and Sparrow Push, I get push notifications for my emails, and I also have Sparrow act as my default mail client. So now let's jump into the settings here and check out some more tweaks I have. Uh, activator, that's kind of a given. Basically if you download almost almost any tweak you're going to get Activator. Also here I have AppScent. Very cool tweak. Ever since I uh, did the review video on it, I've kept it on my device. It will display how much of an application has downloaded rather than it's, you know, it's saying installing it'll show the actual percentage of where it is at for downloading very cool tweak uh, there's auto protect which I mentioned barrel browser chooser clockify dashboard X just allows you to add notification center widgets to your springboard uh, it also has kind of its own dashboard I don't have any widgets added so here is I'm not going to add it but notice the screen kind of dimmed that's the actual dashboard X itself you can just put a bunch of widgets in there if you'd like uh, forecast NC settings Sparrow Plus Spring to Mize 2 Torch I don't have Torch enabled right now um, it basically just puts a little icon uh, on your lock screen it allows you to turn your flash on with just a click of a button on your lock screen very handy Oh, next is Zephyr. Love this tweak. So I'll just swipe up from the bottom to exit that app like that, and I'll just swipe up again to bring up the switcher. That is Zephyr. Very, very, very handy tweak. You don't even have to use your home button. Well, to an extent, on your device, if you have Zephyr, you can literally just, you know, bring up your switcher, exit apps, uh, multitask side to side. It's a very, very cool tweak. Now also, I have multi-story which I actually just did a re review video on this as well uh, I usually would have switchy but I like you know I like to keep it more simple I don't need to close all the apps or I forgot what other options switchy had but this is basically just two rows of multitasking applications and then your media controls or music controls rather and then your volume slider <coughs> in your switcher and that's basically it just very simple but very handy you know and that's really about it guys that's about all I would use that's all I need those are my most essential tweaks my favorite tweaks and yeah I guess just let me know what you guys think about those tweaks down in the comments uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up that helps me out a lot guys also if you want to know uh, anything about any of these tweaks be sure to check everything iDevice I'll have a full article on this video and links to all the different tweaks and uh, you know explanations of all the tweaks and the prices and all that so uh, just yeah check it out guys let me know what you guys think this is Jeremy with everything iDevice and I'll catch you guys later